Hello world, my name is Anna and I'm a still student of a Fortitude school even though I work full time. I have a lot of videos about Fortitude school, the famous piscine process and in all of my videos more or less I mention Fortitude school but I just realized that I don't have a full video, a structured video where I explain the 42 courses. It's like the 42 program, uh, how the studies are organized, what the projects we do, etc. And I hope this video will give you the full understanding how is to be a student of a 42 school, what to expect and whether it is for you or not. A short disclaimer, 42 school is always trying to update the program, to adjust the program to the real world needs. So there are there may be new projects to appear. They might completely change the program in the future as they did when I began my studies. I hope that this video will be relevant even like in five years. Basically, piscine is the admission process, like a sort of an exam to get into the school. But this exam lasts quite long for a month, four weeks of intensive programming where you learn the basics of sea language. Based on the results, you are either admitted or rejected. I highly recommend for anyone who are interested in programming, whether you want to get into the school or not, to just have this experience of the piscine. I have plenty of videos how it is organized, what to expect. Um, I will put all of the links in the description of this video. In case you fail, they have the mechanism which is called retry. Normally, within a year, you can try again. And it depends on the campus, actually. There are some campuses which doesn't allow you to do that. Paris campus, right now, they allow you to do the retry, uh, but they also kind of change the rules every year. So you should contact the school or search on their website, um, the, uh, the admission process for the year you choose. So I'm not going to be talking about a lot about the visit because I have plenty of videos, but yeah, basically four weeks of intensive learning of the programming. So when you're admitted to school, the studies begin. The, principal, the principles rest the same as during the piscine. The school is open 24-7. You organize yourself as peer-to-peer -peer learning. No teachers, no lecturers, no like what we have, like marks. Uh, we have a level, but we don't have like, you know, uh, paperwork to do. It's all project-based thing as you had in the piscine, but it's just like more complex and it takes more time to complete it. How it's it all organized, you have like the level and each project gives you an XP. You see like here I have the level 13 and each project gave me like the XP, so it's like gamification, like gamification thing. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know the verb for, for this, uh, for the gamification. Two hours later. And first you start what we call Common Core. It's an obligatory program that you have to complete before your first internship. So here is, it's a holograph, the whole school program. And you can see there the Common Core is what you have in the circles. And then you have branches and branches. It's the projects that you do after finishing Common Core. But let's focus on the Common Core. Normally you have projects that you like can't choose. You have to do them in order to get the next one like libft, ft printf, get next line. Here you have another one, which is gray. They added that when I finished the circle. So uh, it means that normally I would have to do that. It's obligatory project, but since like I was, I don't know, here when they, uh, when they added that, so I didn't have to, to finish it. Uh, then you have like, you know, two projects close to each other. And that is like, you, you choose between one of them. Um, so here, normally you would do one of this thing. Normally you would do one of that thing. Normally I would have done there, but this one, push swap. But also they added it after I finished the circle. So here is an example. Actually, we have cube 3D and minority. So I chose cube 3D. And in each circle, you have an exam. And normally it's um, about the topic that you learned. Uh, for example, here you finish this circle and in this circle you have exam rank two and it's all about the previous one. So they check if you kind of learned the things um, in the exam. And what is a great 
idea about the exams at Fortitude School is that if you fail, you have another chance. So you can try as many times as you as you need. Uh, since you are not absorbed by what we call a black hole. I can't show you here because I, I have finished the the common course, so I don't, I'm not in the black hole, like I don't have this black hole stuff anymore, but normally when you do the school curriculum, you have the amount of days rest at, uh, <laughs> at the absorption of uh, the black hole. And uh, within, by doing another project, another project, you have more more and more days before you're absorbed by uh, the black hole and the idea is not to not get in absorbed. If you get absorbed, you are eliminated. But honestly, if you consistently study at school and submit your projects, you, you won't have this problem. Yeah, and I mentioned that this is obligatory program before taking the project internship. Uh, but you are free, you know, like in school, you're very free to choose what to do. And of course, nobody like, you know, prevents you from uh, from doing your internship before finishing the Common Core. But it means that you kind of will have this counter and it's it's like very difficult, you know, to work and study. So I, I have a friend who actually did her internship before finishing the Common Core and she kind of freezed her account uh, for that uh, because she wasn't able to do school projects while working. And also uh, when you do such a thing, uh, you can't like validate uh, internship project at school uh, afterwards uh, because you did it before. Like they, they look at the dates and if you want to get the, the points um, of the internship, you have to like finish the common circle and then uh, register for internship project and do your internship. So it depends. Another thing about school projects that I forgot to mention is that, yeah, you have these branches and they are about on some top. For example, this branch of this project is about web development. If I'm not really familiar. You really have to, to read the subject and everything in order to understand what what is it all about? Yeah, this one, Inception of Things Cloud, is about the DevOps. Uh, this stuff, I remember it was about either reverse engineering or security. Um, so there are a bunch of topics. And for you to know to, to be a real software engineer, not just, you know, one path like lab development and that's it. No, it's like very diverse. And... Um, you kind of touch all of it. And that is really, really cool. So since you finished this common circle, yeah, for those who, who know the, the 42 school curriculum and will tell me, but you failed FD Transcendence because I was in the Moscow campus at the beginning and it wasn't obligatory, this project. And we registered with my, with my friends, like with the peers who I wanted to do this project. And then we kind of gave up because it was no longer obligatory for, for Moscow campus. And that allowed me to register for the project, which is called Internship One. Yeah, and I did also some projects that are not in this holograph, uh, and they were in Moscow campus. So if you uh, if you study in another campus, your holograph might be a little bit different. So internship. So you see, there is a branch of internships, and then there is a, you can do part time one, part time two. Like something is available. Apprentissage deux ans. Première année, sorry, <laughs> like apprenticeship. Normally in in France, you have different types of contract. You have an internship contract. I don't know what's the what they mean by part time, uh, but you can get into details. An apprenticeship it's actually when the 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 company uh, they sort of sign a contract with the school and they kind of pay for your studies uh, and you get paid less than you would normally do. And it is called apprenticeships. And the, the idea behind all of this in France is that you will have your time for studying and you have your time for work. And normally just it depends on, on, on the contract, but normally you would work like three weeks and one week is for studies or you would work less hours and the, the hours that is left within the day you sacrifice for school. 
and or you just do the second internship or the startup well for me like they recommend normally the school recommends you to do the first internship after finishing the common core but you also free, you are free to choose and start doing other projects for example me when i finished the common core we also had a project on java uh they have we had java be seen uh it's immersive small projects and so i did that before my first internship so that allowed me to easily find something in java and i had my first internship in java and then i had like the company um they proposed me to have a full-time contract and i stayed in the company for some time so and does the school help you actually to get the internship um i have a proper video on this topic but i just want to mention a little bit the, the idea that i kind of want to to share with people is that school has lots of gives you lots of opportunities like hackathons they have some partnerships with programs they organize uh workshops with some companies uh the name of the school itself uh, i speak about paris uh, i speak about france but i think that within some time in other countries the school will have a name but it's just it, it, it doesn't feel like a magic i mean like oh you're in the school you're tech now of course you have to make efforts and it's uh, up to you whether you get this internship or not the school just doesn't take your hand and bring it to you to google <laughs> so i finished the common core and many people they are really interested school students like how is it all about well i would say that it's quite chill because you no longer have these deadlines uh, you no longer have this black hole thing and you are kind of chill you know but as for me i work full time now so i don't have that much time to sacrifice for projects i have my personal life i like creating the videos and doing the projects it takes time like they give you like sometimes there is a sort of estimation uh, in project like 120 hours 200 hours so you have to to get this time from your from your free time like weekends or evenings and when you work full time you don't necessarily want to to work again you know in, even though it's for your personal development for example I, I take myself as an example within one year after getting the job i just did one project recently but i really like this freedom you know if i want to finish school soon i would find I will find this time. Probably in the future, I will have this motivation to finish the school. Finish, I mean, it's getting the 21st level or the 17th level. Um, I think it depends on the campus. When they give you the certificate, you should ask <laughs> the administration of your campus in Paris. Um, by finishing the school, I mean getting the diploma equivalent. If you don't know, in Paris's campus, you can get sort of a real diploma which is valid in in france it's called erin cp level and you can finish within the sixth level of the seventh level uh, which is equivalent to bachelor master's degree and there are a lot of you know you have to finish certain projects you have to get certain level 21st or 17th and finish also two internships so it's not it's not that easy <laughs> and yeah probably <laughs> one day i will graduate um also i received a, a newsletter from the school that actually you can get the certificate now after finishing the common core but you won't have the chance to get your rncp level your like uh school curriculum will be closed but you will still have access to school as a school alumni but i decided not to get this opportunity because i'm still thinking about working on some projects so <laughs> that was it for this video i hope i gave you the impression how our studies are organized um and what is it all about to be at 42 or well, how is life on, after common core uh, but let me know in the comment if you still have any questions so uh, thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bisous bisous bye bye